Hey guys, welcome back to JJL Collectibles with Jackie and Jason and Primo. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss a video of ours. What are we doing today? Short box freestyle. <laughs> so, so basically, I grabbed one of his um, short box comic books and we are going to basically, I'm going to pick out random books and we're going to see if Jason knows the story. You guys know Jason's really good at telling stories. He's read everything that he sells. He's a really good storyteller. So we're pretty much going to test his memory, which I'm sure is good. And we're let's just going to see what he can remember. So let's get started, guys. You ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Primo, you want to pick one out? All right. So how about this one? So Stillwater. Okay. Oh, wow. That's a good one. So Stillwater by Chip Zdarsky and Ramon Perez on the colors. Pretty much... A, a gentleman, Danny, gets a letter from his mom saying, I need you to come to this town. When he comes to the town, the town of Stillwater, the first thing that happens is these two little boys on a roof. And one boy pushes the other boy off the roof, literally drops down to the roof, drops down to the ground, gets up, goes to the doctor, like has a couple broken bones. And he finds out that this town, no one dies. Wow. So pretty much the children stay children. And the adults stay adults. And the only way you can die is if you go out to the outskirts of the town. Wow. I believe this is has yeah, there's 15 issues, maybe up to up to 16 or 17. And pretty much each issue chronicles what Danny's going through in this town. He's trying to get out of the town, trying to get people out of the town. Mm -hmm. Some people obviously don't want to leave the town because they don't they don't want to die right. or that other chance of dying or growing old. But still water, man. Really good story. Cool. All right, so you remember that one. I did, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, all right, how about this guy? Ooh, Philadelphia. Okay. Unfortunately, that's what Philadelphia is known by because of the murder rate over there in certain parts. Wow. But Philadelphia by Rodney Barnes and Jason Sean Alexander. Obviously, Rodney Barnes is one of the greatest writers of our time as far as movies, TV, and comic books and books overall. A lot of great things he's doing. And we have Jason Sean Alexander has actually got big off of drawing Spawn for Todd McFarlane. So, Philadelphia, Sins of the Father, Part 1, yes. So, James Sangster Jr. comes back to bury his father, James Sangster Sr. And we find out that pretty much his father's a vampire. And it's pretty much about vampires taking over the slums and ghetto and taking advantage of the minorities in the inner cities of Philadelphia. And you find out that the John Adams, the president, if I'm not mistaken, is the leader of all the vampires. And they, they lead this like revolution to turn everyone into vampires, take over the world, things like that. And it's pretty much centered around the son and the father. And how the son hated the father. The yeah. father was like just a real jackass of a dad. Yeah. And it's it's a great story. It's up to almost 20 issues or 20 plus, 25 issues. And it follows the mythos of vampires and how different presidents play different factors as vampire, different types of vampires. George Washington shows up. Um, the uh, the a very famous Haitian, uh, Olivier, I think his name, if I'm saying it correctly, shows up. God is in there. It's just it's really dope because it <laughs> plays on all the different characters. Even Greek mythology steps in at one point. So it's just a great story about just Philadelphia, vampires, father and son trying to get along and understand each other. It's a really good story, actually. Yeah. I think got, it was picked up for a movie or a TV show as well. You have 26 issues here, so pick this up, guys. Philadelphia, you got to pick it up. All Comes right. in trades as well. Let's see. This one. What do we got? Farmhand? Farmhand. Oh, man, this is good. Never heard of this. Farmhand by Rob Galori. And I forgot who drew it. But Farmhand Jedediah is a farmer. And he finds a way to grow limbs and organs for people. So he's growing hands, Imagine. limbs, everything. And then his son, I think it's Ezekiel, comes to join the, the farmhand, the whole business. Because it's booming. Mm -hmm. People are getting, you know, everything replaced. But it turns dark when you start to learn how did he get that? How did Jedediah get that ability to grow these limbs and organs to save 
the world and you start to realize some of these organs are poison and they turn mm -hmm. people into monsters or into evil people and then you find out that it's all linked to a certain event that happened in Jedediah's young past when he was actually a scientist and a farmer and it's linked to a woman I forgot her name but the woman pretty much is behind the scenes she made all this happen so that she can have a limb for everybody in the world and take over the world so farmhand really good story really good story by I Rob actually Zalora. find that really interesting yeah <laughs> like, I might read that it's crazy yeah I like the cover too guys like I don't know if you can see but I'll put yeah, a picture farm up farmhand's dope it's like planting hand it's pretty cool all right nice I'm interested in that if I'm wrong in any way just say it in the comments and I'll make sure to correct myself and but then... great stories Let's do one more. Okay. Let's do this one. Ooh, Infidel. Infidel? Infidel. That's another great story. This came out back in, I want to say 2018. Written by Pornsack Pe Peachenshaw. Peachenshaw. Okay. Is one of the greatest writers. He actually started out as the editor for Sweet Tooth, which is a big show on Netflix. Aaron Campbell is the, is the artist on this. Infidel was a short series. Um, Aisha and Medina, two Muslim women, live in an apartment building. And unfortunately, the apartment building is bombed. When it's bombed, obviously, they're Muslim women. Everyone in the building starts to, you know, reach in for their hatred towards Islam and everything. Mm -hmm. And when that starts to happen, a demon shows up. And the demon lives off of xenophobia. So the more that there's hatred in the building the more that demon can consume people, hurt people, kill people. And it's pretty much, a gr it's a great horror book around xenophobia, Islam, and just good faith in humanity. Because obviously towards the end, issue six, issue five or six, they start to fight that demon with love and with, you know, not fearing Islam and things like that. It's actually, I believe wow. it's won an award. It's a really good story. You can sell it just by the cover. What you're getting into when you see it. Great job. <laughs> That's just a little preview, but great. Nice stories. Very yeah. interesting for sure. All right, all right. So that's about it, y'all. Short box freestyle. <laughs> if you like this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and subscribe to the channel. Peace guys.